Uh, uh, overall, went well. Uh, we're doing Slender Man, of course. Uh, we plan to shoot most of the footage in one day at Simeon's house out in the forest. Uh, we didn't get all the footage that we needed, but uh, having looked back on the experience, I think we would have had a smoother time if we had planned out the shot list a bit more and possibly the dialogue. Uh, just in terms of timing uh, and the shot lengths, really, uh, it was only a problem when cutting down the film to run in under three minutes. Uh, it's trying to get all the emotions and the suspense of the audience and also helping them understand what Slender Man is was a bit of a problem. Uh, originally, we had a fairly long shot involving all of us sitting on the couch and Simeon coming in and explaining that he's, about his dreams and rubbish about Slender Man and, and that we should go find him. Uh, this, ended, this scene ended up being pretty long, uh, which we had trouble with getting into the final cut, so we ended up scrapping the whole thing. Uh, it probably came down to a planning problem, but again, only with three minutes, it's hard to deliver everything we wanted to. Uh, we did our final Slender Man filming uh, on the following Tuesday, just simple shots in front of a green screen that we would add into the film and editing. Uh, we all played around with the effects and footage in Premiere to try and get the uh, most realistic effects we could. Uh, which I think we ended up doing not too badly, but we did it in a different sort of a way. We shot Slender Man being still and then animated him into Premiere in the final edit, whereas we should have put a green screen into the original footage and just placed a flat picture on top of that, but it doesn't matter. Uh, I think Ford did a really good job in a rough cut. Uh, we've got some really good feedback from that to try and fix some things up and make it run smoother and hopefully be scarier. So yeah, hope you enjoy.